Chapman, Craig Ferguson. It's almost as if someone had persuaded you to <laughs> clap and cheer. Because I was saying, stop, stop, and you weren't stopping. It's always as if some kind of sweaty, overweight man was going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you overweight, dude. What I meant was, uh, sw I just meant sweaty. <laughs> um, what kind of a day is it today? Oh, yes, it's a great day for America. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great day if you like Barbara Walters, or, you know, or as she calls herself, Barbara. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> the, the most fascinating people special was on earlier tonight. Uh, you know, the number one, because uh, we're live, I've seen it, of course. <laughs> the number one most fascinating person was kept secret, but, you know, I've already seen it, so congratulations, <laughs> whoever it was. <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> There's no surprise about one thing on this list. I'm not on it. Again! <laughs> not fascinating enough for you, Barbara. I've been a guest on The View. I thought you and I had something special. Something very, very special. <laughs> I'll let you see my sensitive side, Barbara Walters, and by that I mean penis. <laughs> <laughs> She does have some great names, uh, Barbara, on the special, though. Pippa Middleton. Now, there you are. Who could be more fascinating than someone who's the sister of someone who's married someone who's famous just for being bored? <laughs> Which is something I think we've all done in our own way at some point in our lives. <laughs> to be fair, though, Pippa is also famous for, you know, an ass that looks good in a dress. That's another reason why I should be on that list. <laughs> Other people on uh, Barbara's list this year, Herman Cain, the Kardashians, Simon Cowell, and Donald Trump. <laughs> Is this a list of the most hateful douchebags in America? And between them and Pippa Middleton, this really puts the ass in fascinating, doesn't it? <laughs> Katy Perry's on the list. Now, I like, I like her. She's talented, she's pretty, she's a good singer, but is it wise to put her in the same room as Herman Cain? <laughs> Katie, I'm so sorry he was groping you. <laughs> Some people are objecting to Donald Trump being included on the list. Not me. I'm glad someone is finally giving Donald Trump a forum so he can express himself and get some attention. <laughs> Barbara's excuse for putting Trump in, she said that she's known him for over 30 years, back when that thing on his head was just a baby hamster. <laughs> The gay couple from Modern Families on the list. It turns out only one of them's gay and the other one's acting. It's like Jeff and me. <laughs> I'll let you guess which one is which. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, Barbara has been doing these specials for a long time. The first time she hosted, and you know, this was so long ago, the first time the most fascinating person was Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was doing them in ancient Greece. That's right. Socrates, the famous philosopher who said, I only know that I know nothing. Why he would talk like that, I don't know. Apparently that's how ancient Greeks talked. They talked with British accents. I only know that I know nothing. It's ancient Greece, so why are you talk like this? Well, why you talk like Super Mario? <laughs> Socrates said, I only know that I know nothing, which is still twice as much as what Trump knows. Yes, but... <laughs> Does Socrates have a hotel with his name written on it? No! Loser! <laughs> That's right, I called you a loser, Socrates. Go and drink hemlock. 
<laughs> nice one. <laughs> I see. Who was it that killed Socrates and made him drink the hemlock? Who was it? Do you remember? Um, no. The Kardashians. That's who it was. Wow. Yeah? I'm sorry, but Barbara Walters is due for a bit of a spanking here. Two reasons. First, it seems like she's going for the lowest common denominator in a brazen attempt to get ratings. And B... <laughs> I like spanking women over 70. <laughs> I'm going for creepiest person list this year. I'm just not fascinated by any of the people on that list. Maybe Katy Perry, but, but certainly not Donald Trump. I'm more fascinated by a cockroach than Donald Trump. <laughs> I am. There's a new cockroach discovered this week. Why is that not on the list? Why not have the new cockroach? There was, that's true. A new cockroach, it's called the leap roach. Uh, it's true, it is. <laughs> am I the only one that cares about this? There's a new cockroach, everything's like, oh, that doesn't matter, it matters to me. <laughs> It's the leap roach, it can jump 50 feet. A roach that can jump 50 feet. I'll wait for you to poo your pants, don't worry. <laughs> a 50 foot jumping, this doesn't, are you not frightened by this? I'm still stuck on you spanking 70 year old women. <laughs> Come on, Craig, you give it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the good thing is you don't have to spank them that hard, they, and they're like, oh, that's too much. Oh, you spanked me so hard you made my cockroach jump. <laughs> Wait, made my cockroach jump? Is that code? You better believe it is. Yeah. I got a picture of it. I got a picture of the magazine. Look, there it is. That's like, look at that thing. Yeah, that or Donald Trump. That every time. <laughs> That roach is more fascinating than Trump, it's more fascinating than a Kardashian. <laughs> Unlike a Kardashian, though, no one knew this roach existed until recently. <laughs> Actually, that's a pretty bad example. All right, can a Kardashian double its population overnight? All right, can a Kardashian get your restaurant shut down? Well, I, I could actually if it was the big one and it was hungry. You know, the, uh... <laughs> Um, what? What, what, what? When I said something bad about Kardashian, oh, boo! <laughs> what? Am I wrong? Am I wrong, Jeff? Why, why, would, why, why would they ooh if I, if I said something mean about a Kardashian? Why? You're, you're not paying for this, people. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, are you pro-Kardashian or anti-Kardashian? Or do you just not care? I think they're the devil. I just think they're, but you know, if I had an all you can eat buffet in Dallas, I'd be thinking again. That's all I'm saying. Oh man, we got a real corker for you yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah, a real bunch of Kardashians in tonight. What is the collective noun for Kardashians? A purse of Kardashians, perhaps? Is it, is it Kard Kardashian? No, that would be plural. I'm looking for a collective noun. You know, like, uh, you, you know, a pride of lions or a giraffe of lesbians. A, a giraffe of lesbians? You didn't know that one? Yeah, a giraffe of lesbians. That's the collective noun for lesbians, a giraffe. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. Uh, it might be. Do they have a word for bearded lesbian? Because there's one right over here. Yeah, no, I see it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really rude to point that out, man. <laughs> so bearded lesbians just spend time at home with themselves. I don't understand that. I'll tell you after the show. No, I don't want to hang out with you after the show. I want you to spank me. <laughs> all right, do the, uh, all right, do the thing. All right, Accommodations provided by Socrates Hotel and Casino. Enjoy a nip of the old hemlock in our Play-Doh lounge. If you can still feel your legs, Athens will pick up the tab. <laughs>